Hello dear viewers, we want to see how the learner can maximize the scores and put smart responses in the oncoming UNEB 2025. Now, we are emphasizing that the learner should answer smart. Answer smart? What do we mean by answering smart? The responses should sh reflect the following characteristics. Responses should be Number one, specific to the task in the scenario, to the task, then should be very clear. This one we mean direct to the point. Then should be very accurate. Very accurate we mean the response should be true and bringing out the chemistry. Or the science bringing out the science or the chemistry in what the learner is trying to explain here. Specificity we mean is that the learner should actually look into the scenario and respond as per the scenario. For example, a scenario can contain person maybe John can contain substance A, product B. So this should appear in the learner's response. For example, the learner can say, John used modern antibiotic medicine. Antibiotic medicine. Not just saying, if they say state the category, then the learner just says antibiotic medicine. Are you specific? So you must be very specific, direct to the point, and very accurate. Let the science come out. So don't just put points. Where you are not clear, for example, when you are dealing with dangers, make sure the science comes out very well. Where you are not sure, leave out that point. Don't just mention a point which you can't explain and bring out the science or the chemistry. So this is how you should answer smart. Now in today's video, we are focusing on medicine and updating the responses, how to respond to medicine correctly. But let's first visit the syllabus and see which forms of medicine does the syllabus emphasize us to stick on in the syllabus now. I'm now on page 44 of the syllabus book here and then we are scrolling down to particularly where they are, the medicine part. So medicine starts right away from about here. So around this. So we see that the medicine of emphasis here is analgesic medicine. These are various forms. Antibiotics. Let's drop down a bit. So there are those which are for psychotherapeutic. Uh, uses such as stimulants and depressants and antipsychotics. So stay watch to the end to see how we shall respond to a certain item. So we are dealing with about five forms. So the forms of emphasis here, number one is the antibiotics, then analgesics, then we are seeing stimulants, then we are also seeing antidepressants. Then we are finally seeing antipsychotics. Antipsychotics. So there are five forms, but remember all these forms lie under two categories either modern, stroke, synthetic medicine, or traditional medicine, which we can sometimes call herbal medicine. Then let's go back to the medicine items. Now, coming down here, we are aware that when we are dealing with item one, actually the basis of assessment contains the three sections of the item. The first section has a function plus the category. Then the next section of the basis of assessment contains the danger, 
how it occurs how it occurs and the mitigation but remember that the the part of how it occurs will separate a very bright learner from a learner who is not being very serious so ensure that the danger is shown to how it occurs well and the mitigation must be direct to the danger how it's averted then the last section of the basis contains the evaluation using similarities and differences now let's go direct here so we have two categories two categories this is the modern or synthetic then we have traditional herbal medicine then there are various forms analgesics antibiotics analg of course analgesics is a mistake so we have analgesics antibiotics stimulants and depressants and antipsychotics so there are five forms which should appear also in the category so there is a key point here when stating the category then it must contain the form and the category itself for example modern antibiotic medicine this is a smart response though some 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 people propose that they should say maybe modern medicine which is antibiotic it's okay but this is more smarter so if the scenario has more than one category we state both of the categories but don't state two categories if only one is in the scenario so and so goes to the evaluation part we evaluate when there are only two categories that's modern and traditional medicine so going down to their functions here or the uses of course under medicine the word function is the same as use so is the same as use here or is the same as how it works how it works but remember that it's not applicable to other mm -hmm. parts here it's not applicable to other parts like when we are dealing with nuclear processes this can't work there the use and the function are different so analgesics they relieve pain by blocking pain signals in the nervous system antibiotics used to treat bacterial infections by killing or inhibiting bacteria so going down further stimulants they work by speeding up the activity of the brain and the nervous system making a person more alert active and less tired of course there are other things like rockabomb rockabomb sting this is both a beverage and a stimulant so it has beverage components and stimulant components but of course we have things like coffee some people like take coffee which is direct stimulant which they claim it will keep them uh, less tired and active and unsleepy so those are what we call stimulant then there are what we call antipsychotics used to treat psychotic disorders such as bipolar this is for people with mental disorders because mental disorders are on the rise so this kind of medicine is important then we have antidepressants which are used to improve mood when somebody is very depressed so or you can say it treats depression anxiety disorders and chronic pain conditions so let's look at a smart danger now the danger stated should be well explained how it occurs bring out the science and or the chemistry then state the mitigation well let's look at this smart one so where you are not sure of how it occurs or how is the science in the danger then leave it out now here excessive use of medicine leads to liver damage so this is the danger then how does liver damage occur so because the liver is the main function responsible for breaking down and removing drugs when too much medicine is taken the liver is overworked and toxins and byproducts accumulate so this 
brings out the science very very well so make sure you mention a point where the science should come out and be a brief and clear so here of course we must attach a mitigation sorry this is was an oversight mitigation should be there uh, reducing the use or what we can also say using alternative medicine or use prescribed doses reduce use use prescribed doses then alternative medicine so now let's look at the evaluation part you must evaluate using similarities and differences for example both treat illness of course the similarities actually come out from the function they are built from the function built from the use of the medicine or the function so if both are used to uh, relieve pain so we we state that both relieve pain because whether traditional or modern they do that so differences so traditional medicine are less effective in action than modern medicine so when we state the similarity and the difference ensure that when you are asked to advise then the learner should show the side or the learner must make a decision the learner makes a decision and supports one of them so let's dive very example down here after a long period of work john felt tired sleepy and weak he was advised to either take a plant extract or byproduct from the pharmacy so byproduct from the pharmacy so we have two medicine types here plant extract is actually going to act as traditional or herbal medicine or herbal medicine then this product from the pharmacy is actually modern medicine but we must be very now specific now which type of modern and which type of uh, traditional medicine now we can see that it could make him feel energized alert and refreshed so this is a stimulant so this is a stimulant However, John did not understand the difference between these products here. He was he has come he has now come to you for advice. Now, this item I picked it from Macadita Moxi. Masaka diet diocese Macadita. So you can visit that paper and extract that item there. Let's look at part A. State the category of the products. Now here you must be very smart. How? You must be very specific. Now, what is the specificity about? The, the item or the scenario brought out something about plant extract, then brought something about uh, uh, the product from the pharmacy. Then there was a name, John. But because there was only one personality, we would leave out the name, John. What's most important to be specific about is the plant extract must appear in your category. So the plant extract is traditional stimulant medicine so this is the category then this is the form so this is being very very smart so this is category plus its form brought out very very well so scores that category score now if you leave out the word plant extract and and the product then you are not very specific and you don't deserve a score here so when you do that you'll score zero even if all these categories are correct but make sure you are very specific now let's go down to part b part b is emphasizing that explain how the products work of course both are stimulants so be very specific stimulants in plant extract and the product so that specificity according to the demand of the item so this is going to distinguish between an a learner and a b learner so some learners will just uh, put uh, responses and don't get any scores and wonder i wrote all my things right so stimulants they work by speeding up the activity of the brain that's their use so this is the function score so both both of them are attached together to give you an overall weight here of course we shall not state the weight because last year there was a weight of about six 
but these weights are susceptible to change. So we shall not put enough emphasis on this, as, a, as this can be uh, devised by the uh, teacher himself. State the danger associated with the long term. Here is where things must be clear, then must be accurate or true. What we are mentioning should be true. Now, long term use of medicine leads to liver damage. Now, liver damage is the danger that we've identified. Now, how does it occur? When too much medicine is taken, the liver is overworked and the toxins accumulate and damage the liver cells. So this is how liver damage occurs. So you must explain how the danger occurs. How must bring out the science or the chemistry. If there is not the chemistry, then the science. Science you mean can be the biological part of it or can be something else. Then mention the mitigation. It can be mitigated by reducing use since this is prolonged use or use alternative medicine or only take prescribed doses. So this is danger mitigated. Let's right away go to the advice here. Now looking at the advice part here, the numbering is not correct here. So this is advice John on the better product use. So the learner must state a similarity, a difference then should state his side or the decision. Now, under here, uh, the, the learner should be specific. The word John is coming out, the product from the pharmacy and the plant extract are all coming out very, very clearly in this advice. Both both modern and traditional medicine, since we are dealing with stimulants, so we say the similarity comes normally from the function or the use. Make a person more alert or both increase the speeding up, they speed up the action of the nervous system and the brain, or both make a person more active, alert, and less tired. So that's the function. Then However, John should choose the product from the pharmacy because it is more effective. That's the difference coming out, uh, more effective than the plant extract and would bring quicker results. So make sure the three things are coming out very well and your response should be specific, uh, clear, and accurate. Thank you.